Hey everyone, welcome back. Bruce here again with DIY Homestead Projects. And today I'm going to be doing a little bit of stick welding with the Prime Weld TIG 225. If you have one of these machines or you're looking to buy one of these machines, you might be curious as to if it can stick weld, how well it can stick weld. Now I'm my, my disclaimer is I am not a professional welder, I'm just a DIY home hobby shop type welder, but I'm going to use it today to do some stick welding. On my previous video I did a welding square tubing and I used the Juba 200 stick welder and uh, welded a couple of pieces of 2 inch square tubing together and if you watched that video, you saw that I had one section that had a lot of undercut. So I ground that down, and <laughs> I'm no fabricator either. As well as no welder, I'm no fabricator. But I did grind this down and tried to make it to where I could lay another weld in there. I'm going to use 6013 rods. Let's see if I can fill that in. I don't know if this is how you would do it. I don't think I would do it like this on a project, but I need practice welding and fabricating, so this is going to give me an opportunity to do that. And then I ground this uh, weld on the back down here a little bit. The one that was, I ran it too quickly with the 7018 rods, and I'm going to put another weld on that just to see what it, just to see what it does, see how it looks. What I did was I cut the top of this off so I can get as much practice out of these materials as possible. I just cut that off of the top there and uh, then I ground this one down and prepped it for TIG so I'll probably make that a separate video but I'm going to uh, TIG weld that on there and see how that see how that does. I need as much practice on fillet welds TIG as I can get now I have done just a little tiny bit of stick welding with this machine in the past and I used 6013 rods on AC and it seemed to me like it welded really nice. So I'm excited to uh, try out that setting. First thing I'll start is I think I'm going to use this piece for practice anyway and just, just run these beads along here where I ground that down to kind of prep it for, for, for a cap weld I guess you would call it. and. Uh, We'll start with that.
Well, here's a look at the undercut repair on that weld I did with the Juba ZX7200. I repaired it with the Prime Weld TIG 225X using 6013 rods at about 100 amps on AC. I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. It's not a professional weld by any means, but I think it, <laughs> I really have no doubts that it will do the job to hold this together and it was good practice. But you can see I've done two passes here. The first pass I did up on the top and then I tried to overlap that 50% with the second cover or second weld. Still getting those divots over here, those craters on the end, so I need to work on that. But that's a pretty good bead, and I have no undercut on either the top or the bottom. Of course, this was done flat, uh, which makes it easier to not get undercut. But I think it's a pretty good looking weld. What do you guys think? It's probably too much weld for what it's trying to do here, but it's definitely not going to fall apart. Let's look at the one where I did two passes on the fillet weld. And again, it came out pretty decent, I believe. Plus, I got good practice. First pass was on the lower section. And then the second pass up here on top. Now, that's probably way too much weld for that type of a joint, especially with the thickness of the square tube that I'm using here but again it was just for practice just to just play around a little bit and that's what it looks like well thanks for joining along on the video guys I appreciate you watching welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel Hopefully you'll find something here on this channel that you enjoy or helps you out. And some of my welding adventures as a new beginner welder. If you like these type of videos, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I appreciate the views. I appreciate the subscriptions and joining me just to have some fun. That's going to wrap it up for this one. And we'll see you guys on the next video.